What is it that you guys are doing? Oh, they're complaining about the cue ball. I've been uh, winning most of the games today, and Charcoal thinks if we change cue balls, he'll have a better chance. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this film short. I'm your host, the Doc, the Ghost Net Guy. Of course, your co-host today is Charcoal, and we are going to share with you some information that we gathered up over the last summer months about wastewater, septic disposal. When you have your septic tank drained, or you buy or sell a house, you have the inspection. A man comes out, or a woman, depending, and they pump your septic tank. It then goes to a disposal area, and it is properly taken care of. However, I don't quite understand one afternoon when I'm up in the woods looking at some migrating birds and studying some crick systems, I noticed that there was a lot of black sludge on the ground and up in the trees. So I looked into it further and discovered up at Webb Mountain, there is an area there that the state has authorized for the disposal of waste from septic tanks and they spray it through a large hose up into the air and look how nice and green this grass is. It was estimated that with the number of trucks that come in here per day, and each truck, I believe, I was told, seven, uh, seven to 10,000 gallons. And if you have 18 trucks a day at 10,000 gallons, multiply that out for 365 days, that's, that's, a, lot, that's a lot of crap. <laughs> so... Take a look at what's happening with the disposal in our wastewater that now is filtering through these outfalls that are affecting our whales. And in the Skokomish River, down into the big bend on the south side of Hood Canal in 80, 90, 200 to 300 foot bottom depths, I'm seeing two things. I'm seeing this critter here with the vertebrae, which I have no idea what the name would be. And I'm also seeing these sticks or white things that are on the seafloor, which I have no idea what the name of that those are either. But it must have something to do with the amount of waste from septics that they're putting on Webb Mountain that's working its way into the aquifer down into the headwaters of the Skokomish River and now out into the big bend of Hood Canal. You tell me. I'm not sure what's going on here. Help, I could use some input from anybody that knows a lot more about how this process works. Until next time, this is the Doc putting it to Charcoal and Cosmos and be careful out on the water. Bye-bye. Well, you guys, you're done for the day.